March 14, Physical Health and Noble Thinking. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. 1 Peter 2.11 Many regard this text as a warning against licentiousness only, but it has a broader meaning. It forbids every injurious gratification of appetite or passion. Every perverted appetite becomes a warring lust. Appetite was given us for a good purpose, not to become the minister of death by being perverted and thus degenerating into lusts which war against the soul. Peter's admonition is a most direct and forcible warning against the use of all stimulants and narcotics. These indulgences may well be classed among the lusts that exert a pernicious influence upon moral character. Let none who profess godliness regard with indifference the health of the body and flatter themselves that intemperance is no sin and will not affect their spirituality. A close sympathy exists between the physical and the moral nature. The standard of virtue is elevated or degraded by the physical habits. Excessive eating of the best food will produce a morbid condition of the moral feelings. And if the food is not the most healthful, the effects will be still more injurious. Any habit which does not promote healthful action in the human system degrades the higher and nobler faculties. Indulgence of appetite strengthens the animal propensities, giving them the ascendancy over the mental and spiritual powers. The strength of the temptation to indulge appetite can be measured only by the inexpressible anguish of our Redeemer in that long fast in the wilderness. He knew that the indulgence of perverted appetite would so deaden man's perceptions that sacred things could not be discerned. If the power of indulged appetite was so strong upon the race that in order to break its hold, the divine Son of God in man's behalf had to endure a fast of nearly six weeks, what a work is before the Christian. Yet however great the struggle he may overcome, by the help of that divine power which withstood the fiercest temptations that Satan could invent, he too may be entirely successful in his warfare with evil and at last may wear the victor's crown in the kingdom of God.